the brown boys the brown boys the brown boys we the brown boys the brown boys we the brown boys but um I want to talk about this Chael Sonnen and LeBron James and Bronny James situation. And uh, my prayers still go up to his family. Uh, it's deeper than basketball. I couldn't imagine worrying about it, uh, one of my kids having a heart attack or cardiac arrest. Um, but um, I heard that Chael Sonnen, I saw a little thing where Chael Sonnen is blaming Le, uh, LeBron James was well, saying a legend shit I don't want to get into smoke he is a legend that LeBron James uh, EPO use saying that they have the same uh, doctor and all this other stuff uh, he took it to me he hit, he hit below the belt but hey a lot of people are going to say that because LeBron didn't check the situation but um, this time, while this man is worried about his son, I think this was distasteful. Distasteful for Chael Sonnen to do that. I know he has an amazing track record on catching people doing steroids and things of that nature. So that's why so many people were waiting for LeBron to hammer his ass. Well, Paul, well, wait a minute. I got I to gotta be careful. <laughs> we're waiting on LeBron to sue him. Because you don't want to give somebody with so much validity. Uh, you don't want to leave that to chance. You don't want people to start echoing and saying things in small pockets and saying, oh, shit, I believe him. You don't you don't want that to happen. So everybody was expecting LeBron to sue him. Uh, but this time, I just think that was kind of crazy that because I think if I'm not mistaken, uh, Bronny was born already when LeBron was playing, right? When all, when all this alleged stuff happened, LeBron was already born. So how would it be anything involving LeBron that's going to go to his son? That don't make no sense to me. So hopefully this time, LeBron, I know you focused on your son. I know you worried about your son's health, and that's exactly what I'd be focused on as well. But once Bronny turned the corner, and turn it turn around you got to get this joke here i mean goodness gracious this would be just as big as uh, a scandal as mark mcguire barry bonds all these people so we damn this going this this would hurt a lot of people feelings if, if this turns out to be true even though I think Chell Sonnen was, is definitely disrespectful as I don't know what to do that or to say that at this particular time. I mean, dang. The young man is in I well, well, I don't know if he's in ICU or just getting out of ICU. But uh, I just think if, if the timing on this shit, Chell, I, I probably can't kick your ass, but I think the, prime, the timing is wrong. <laughs> I know you a UFC fighter, so shit. But dang, dog. We all want a, a speedy recovery uh, for Bernie James. You don't want no child to go through that. Especially, you know, I think uh, Bronny is a motivating factor for LeBron. And one of his motivating factors is that he want to play with his son. So you would hate to see a situation like this. Uh, and then LeBron lose his will. Why would what? I don't know. I, that's what I'm saying. It don't make no sense. He said... LeBron, he blamed LeBron for what happened with uh, Bronny. And I, the only thing I could think of is he's trying to say that LeBron used steroids and it was in his body. And that maybe when he conceived Bronny, it went over to Bronny. I don't, I don't, shit. These ain't my words. I don't, I don't understand what he's alluding to. But I would damn sure hope LeBron get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I, I need LeBron to get to the bottom of this because this ain't right. If the gloves got to come off, Bron. I know they molded you into this uh, nice uh, guy that never really curses and curse a person out. I never seen LeBron in a, uh, other than on the court. I never heard LeBron just curse a person out. 
And not to say he has to do it, but I know he get bothered and badgered and all kind of stuff. And I never heard LeBron just cuss him off about it. Some people going to say, oh, that's because he's a Christian. No, that's because he's being told that that's not the right thing to do with your image and all this other shit. Some people deserve a good cursing out. Some people deserve a good slap across their damn face. Uh, I tend to agree with the UFC fighter. Uh, I wanted to cover that story. What was his name? Frank Mir. Frank Mir said there's always a time to hit somebody. There's definitely a time for somebody to cross boundaries and physical altercation. It, it solves that situation. The only time that we want to deem it okay for a man to be physically violent with another person is that that's if it's a woman involved. If you're protecting a woman, then normally you can get violent nowadays. But if you offend a man, they tell you, oh, you know, you, that's unmanly to hit somebody. No, it's not. When men don't understand stuff, that's how you figure it out. <laughs> Shit. If we had more sanctioned fights, it wouldn't be so much shooting. It, it, everything will thin out. It's just the, the punks don't want to fight because they know you're bigger. Well, if I'm bigger, stop talking like that. Stop acting like that. There used to be, you know, a pecking order and things that you could say, things you couldn't say, things you couldn't do without a consequence. Now everybody has a free fall of the stupidity. But I think LeBron need to sue this fella, man. If if this stuff is not true, and we I definitely don't think the Bronny James, I, I just don't see how Bronny, LeBron, if he did anything wrong, how that would have anything to do with Bronny. I just don't see how that have anything to do with nothing. Now, if he wants to say he has the same doctor as LeBron James, that hey, those are two adults. LeBron can handle that. But I don't understand why he brought Bronny into the situation. I just don't get it. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I don't get it. But hopefully he gets out and, and, and has a speedy recovery and LeBron handle the business like he's supposed to because, come on now, you can't, you can't let this nigga talk like this. No. Mm -mm. You cannot let him get away with this, Jack. If he get away with this, if Chell Sonnen get away with this, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Everybody is going to think Chell Sonnen is telling the truth. Now, they can try this approach of, oh, we're just not going to address it. We're not going to look at it. Chell Sonnen is a bad guy. He's a crap starter. He has too many people he outed for that to happen. That's going to be a bad approach. If that's the approach, they better think again. This story ain't going to go away. The only thing it's going to do is amplify when LeBron James retires. And the more he gets closer to retirement, the more this story is going to amplify. It's going to be some eager journalist that says, well, what about that time Chell Sonnen said such and such and such and such, and LeBron James never did anything. And then when LeBron doesn't have the chokehold on the media that I think he has, allegedly he has, then the people are going to be more likely to come forward and talk, and then you're going to have a shitstorm of problems.